It's a Dragerman. 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 When he puts his mask on, what does he go do? Put out the fire and save people. My name is Brian Wilson. I'm the uh, general manager of Black Dazil Mine, uh, North American Palladium. I've been in the uh, mining industry for about 29 years and I've uh, been a mine rescuer for uh, 27 years. I wanted to be available to help people. I was the first person in mining, so I kind of cut the trail for mine rescue in my family and, uh, and now my, my kids have started following that path as well. That was the one thing I always wanted to do was get into mine rescue just because I grew up seeing him do it, right? Seeing him compete, seeing the mine rescue, Ontario mine rescue logo around town. It was just something we knew as kids. You know, Mine Rescue's been a big piece of my life, uh, no question about it. It gives me a sense of pride when I, when I see him with his BG on and, uh, you know, and I'm watching him practice and, and I, I see myself, uh, you know, 20 years ago as a young man with that BG on, on my back and, and uh, knowing the level that you're trained to and, you know, and, and the road that he's going down. My son had gotten into the mining industry and uh, and uh, he had come home and he said, Dad, I'm, I'm taking mine rescue. And I said, that's fantastic, son. And who's training you in mine rescue? And he said, John Hagen. And I said, well, you tell John Hagen that I said hi. On his last day, he said to John Hagen, my dad says hi. John Hagen says, who's, who's your dad? And he says, Brian Wilson's my dad. And John Hagen says, oh my God. He says, that's right. Brian Wilson wouldn't be your dad. I didn't put that together. He says, you're my first. And Justin said, my first what? He says, you're my first father-son team. And I thought that's, you know, that was pretty cool. I know them very well. I trained both of them as well. So it was really interesting seeing the, the father-son duet going on and, and seeing them grow together. Yeah, the camaraderie, the, the friendships I've, I've built from it, the, the training, it, it's... Uh... It, it's all awesome. Everything about Mine Rescue is, uh, is pure enjoyment. I, I can't get enough of it. It's a network. It's a camaraderie. You know, and I, I say that Mine Rescue is a privilege. It's not a right. And it's absolutely a privilege. It's a, it's a club, you know, and it's a club of good people. Who's the Drager man? <laughs> yeah. And who else? I, I took Mine Rescue, my Mine Rescue basic and standard in 1988. That's interesting, eh? The first year you were born is when I, uh, I took Mine Rescue. Wow. Wow. The year Landon was born, I took Mine Rescue. Oh. I'm ready to go! <laughs> <laughs> Landon's the next Dragerman. They're fully aware of what the Ontario Mine Rescue symbol means and uh, what their dad does. Would you pass me that Dragerman? That's a 174 on his back. That's his mask. That's why we gotta be clean shaven. Are you clean shaven? Did you could shave you, this morning? Could you wear a mask? All right. <laughs> yeah, see the yeah. connect right through here, right into here. And then it's got oxygen in there. Yeah, if, if he does not wear his mask, then he'll probably die. Well, maybe. Whenever there's a dangerous situation at the mine, um, they, they, they get a quick briefing and then they have to go down to the mine and, and perform under the pressure. It's not, not always easy. Um, I've been in a couple of emergency situations uh, throughout my career and I hope that my son doesn't have to, you know, go through those. It scars you, you know, it's, it, it scars your mind, it scars your memory. And uh, those aren't, they're not nice scars. I was, uh, I was called one time for a methane explosion underground at Campbell Mine. Do you, do you remember that one? And uh, we got there, Our team one went looking for missing men. So uh, they were gone. And then team two, which was my team, we, uh, we ended up going down to the explosion area. And uh, the man had already been extracted, but we were going down to make sure there was no, no fires. And, and uh, man, the smoke was thick and uh, the, the damage was, you know, unbelievable. You know, vent tubing ripped down and melted. And that was our neighbor, you know. That was our neighbor that was in that methane explosion. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he lived two doors down. You were young. Across the street. No, 
No, that was another one actually. I think it's changing mining, you know. I think because because we've been involved with them, we we take ser safety serious, more serious, you know, because we don't want to replay it those those situations underground. You agree? Yeah. You know, 30 years ago in the mining industry, 29 years ago, people were getting hurt at a, an alarming rate. And uh, where we are today is, you know, we were, we're just about second safest in all industry in Ontario. And uh, 2010, we we're second safest to only teachers, right? We we're actually safer than the nursing industry, which is remarkable. This is mining through the days. Oh, look at that guy up there. So here, this is interesting. They actually have a candle on top of their hard hats. They don't even have hard hats, they're just leather caps. And they got candles on top of them so they can see underground. How would you like to, how would you like to work underground then? Can you imagine? Dark. All you have is a candle. Yeah, you also have to pay for your own candles. Is that, oh, is that right? Yeah. I put uh, at about my 25th anniversary of mine rescue. I uh, I put a red mine rescue hat on on uh, my back with the Ontario Mine Rescue emblem on the front and uh, it's got the old wheat cap lamp that we uh, used when I first started mining and uh, I'm just lighting up my name on my back. They're the forefathers, they're pushing the safety and they're pushing uh, pushing the limits on everything so that it is safer for us. I, I'm fortunate enough I haven't been called out as often because it's so safe now. If the three of you were stuck at Dynamic Earth, who's going to come rescue you? <laughs> Both of us. All right. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs>